praise the lord good morning to you happy weekend guys welcome to another edition of rhapsody of reality today is saturday 11th of november 2023 and today's topic is the glory in us praise the lord before we start this beautiful morning let's start let's thank god for this beautiful week father we thank you king of glory we bless you Thank you for making this week a successful week for us. All that we needed, you have provided through this week, O oh Lord. May your name be praised forevermore, Lord. Thank you, Father, for this gathering this morning. Thank you for making it possible because we are alive. And thank you for your word we are about to read this morning. Give us wisdom through your word this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome another edition of Rhapsody of Realities and today is Saturday 11th of November 2023 and the topic is the glory in us praise the Lord Colossians 1 verse 27 says to whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles which is Christ in you the hope of glory that's Colossians 1 verse 27 observe the powerful construction in the verse above it says Christ in you, the hope of glory. He doesn't say Christ with you or Christ from heaven. Rather, it says Christ in you. Praise the Lord. This is the mystery, a revelation that remains consistent through our scriptures. In the book of Genesis, we read of God's voice walking in the garden. In the cool of the day, as Adam and Eve heard his voice, Genesis 3.8. At various times, God appeared to individuals like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah. Whenever he revealed himself, the built altars are a symbol of the places where they met with him. However, such encounters were occasional. They were not in constant fellowship with him. But God had a new plan. He revealed himself in Mo to Moses and introduced his name as Jehovah. The Lord in his name as in the camp god among his people praise the lord i will take that again praise the lord he revealed himself to moses and introduced his name as jehovah the lord in the camp god among his people he instructed moses to build a tent where he would meet with them the glory of the lord entered the tabernacle and moses communed with god there as the journey the tabernacle was carried with them symbolizing the presence of the lord Later, David desired to build a permanent house for God, but God gave the plans to Solomon. David's son, Solomon constructed the magnificent temple, and when it was completed, God filled it with his glory. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 1 to 3 But thanks be unto God today, a greater glory than what was manifested in the temple of Solomon, a greater glory than the one Moses saw on the mountain in the presence of God. Recite in us, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, who manifested as a pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night, now dwells with us, within us. Oh, how glorious we have become. <sighs> Remember when the Israelites was journeying, journeying, praise the Lord. God became a pillar at night and a pillar at night. What a wonderful God, praise the Lord. Now lives in us, praise the Lord. Now lives in us. Did you get that at all? Praise the Lord. That means you are powerful. Praise the Lord. The greater glory is in you. The Holy Spirit who manifested the pillar cloud lives in you. The Holy Spirit is your intercessor, is your advocate. It lives in you. Why do you fear? And that is why I cannot I cannot stand someone who is so like is always afraid. Why? You have the greater one lives inside of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is who we carry. We carry the tabernacle. The tabernacle is in us. Unlike the Moses who built the altar, tabernacle for God. But now the tabernacle lives in us. What did we do to deserve this? Isn't God the loving Father? Merciful, slow to anger? 
is so loving. I I remember I was watching something. The person somebody was advising the some person. Somebody did something to the person, and the person said, "Oh, just leave it for God." He said, "No, <laughs> because God will forgive the person." He said he wants to go to voodoo because those ones they don't forgive. So that is to tell you the difference. God forgives. He's a loving Father. He does not look at your weakness. He considers your strength. That is what God sees. Praise the Lord. It's not what it's not how the people judge people. People can sentence people even with their words, with their eyes. But with God, He's so merciful, and that is why I like to be with Him. My life is hid in Him. Even as I'm <laughs> preaching this gospel, there's something I'm trying to, I'm trying to cast and burn. <laughs> there's a root on my root. I don't like the. the I need to cast and burn. Praise the Lord, and I'm burning it in my spirit. And I know it has been burned in Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs> because we have the power to change, to unchange. Praise the Lord. So with that being said, let's take the prayer and confessions together, dear Father. Thank you for your amazing presence in the quarters of my heart. Christ in me, the hope of glory. I have been granted the grace and ability in Christ to reign and rule over all circumstances. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Christ in me is my assurance of a life of continuous victory and unending success. Blessed be God. Praise the Lord. For that study, you can look at 2 Corinthians 3, verse 7 to 18, Colossians 1, 26 to 27. I want your Bible reading plan, Hebrew 10, verse 1 to 18, and Ezekiel 1 to 2. To your Bible reading plan, John 11, verse 24 to 34, and First Chronicles 11. So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures, and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining him this morning. God bless you. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe it all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe you died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe it's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul and my child of God. If you pray this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are my child of God. All you have to do is study your Bible, get to know God is who Jesus is and who the Holy Spirit is to you. Bombard yourself for faith with messages such like this. I look for a believe in church and worship day for growth. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. What a great time we had this morning. And if today is your first time coming across my channel, please subscribe to my channel. All your notification bell. So anytime I upload a video such like this, you'll be first to be notified. And please, you can share this video. God bless you as you follow instruction this morning in Jesus' name. Before we go, let's say prayer together. Father, we thank you for this weekend. Thank you, Father, because we know you have gone ahead of us. Thank you, Father, for making this weekend a great weekend for us. And thank you for your blessings that had no sorrow. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.